Have a plan, that's the answer. You can click off now. Back when I was in high school, I used to start coding projects left and right, and the way I would approach a new project was very toxic, almost like the four stages of grief. First, I would be super excited, since the beginning was very easy. All I had to do was create a new directory and set up a GitHub repo. After that, the struggle started. Where do you begin? Should I add tests? Should I use tests? 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 And this is how I ended up with 20 lines of code and the last commit being two years ago on the readme file. You can literally see this on my GitHub. But how do you actually get rid of this behavior? Well, first of all, you don't want to fall into the planning fallacy and ultimately lose interest in the project. So here's my step-by-step -step guide to you. I also have two secret tricks that you can use at the end, which literally helped me finish all of my projects, so keep watching. Step 1. Create a markdown file with a basic description of your app and its features. Write down the text stack that you're going to use and stick to it. You don't need a project management method like Scrum, honestly. I believe that's one of the big programming fallacies. It might help if more than one person is working on the same thing, but if you're alone, it's pretty much just wasting time. Let's say I wanted to build an AI chatbot interface called Chatter. First, I would write down the basic description of the app, for example, then the features, user authentication, uploading PDF files, custom system prompts, and lastly, write down the framework that you're going to use, which in my case is Next.js. Step 2. Set your priorities straight. Break each feature down into smaller actionable tasks. This will make it way easier for you to know when to stop and when to work on what specific feature. For each one, ask yourself the following. What's the first thing I need to build for this to work? What smaller components does this feature rely on? Is there any research or setup involved? Let's take user auth as an example. Here's how I would break it down. First, I would set up an authentication provider for my framework or language that I'm using. Often this is device for Rails, and next off for Next.js. Then I would create the login and sign up UI components. Lastly, I would test the login, sign up, and logout flows and see if everything is working fine. Now that you have each task, organize them by their respective priority. Something that I often do is have three categories, must have, nice to have, and optional. This is so you know which ones you should take care of first and which ones to leave for later. Step 3. Don't overcomplicate the process. A big mistake I see a lot of rookies do is that they overestimate themselves in terms of programming skills and thus overfill their schedule and they simply can't keep up to what they thought they could. So just take it easy, you're not being pressured by anyone except for yourself. And last but not least, the secret tricks. And that is to set milestones. So logically speaking, you can never finish a project if you don't even know when it's done. This can be a simple markdown file called milestones md which includes all features and by when you want to have them done or at least a good prototype ready and the second trick i have for you is that i wrote a tool that can help you do all the things i mentioned in this video all the way from clarifying your requirements up to categorizing the tasks by importance this is meant to assist you and not take over your entire life like Neuralink. thank you so much for watching this video until the end if you need support or help with coding join my discord and ask your question in the help channel and don't forget sunset沈んでいきます。君も今沈んでるって言ったよね。ダメだよ。この太陽と君の気持ちは違うぞ。太陽ね。今から一度沈んで新たな思いでやってくるから沈んでいくんじゃねえか。沈んだままなの君は。起き上